OK, so we have the square root. We have the square root. Of 3 X minus 3. Plus the square root. Of 2 X plus 8. Plus 1. Equals 0. Okay, so the first step is to isolate one of my radicals. Doesn't matter which one. So since that one comes first, I might as well do that one. So I'm going to subtract the square root of 2x plus 8 and subtract 1 from both sides, minus the square root of 2x plus 8 minus 1. So we have the square root of 3x minus 3 equals they're both negative. Negative the square root. Yes, 2x plus 8 minus 1. OK. Ugh. Now, we've got to square both sides. However, before I square this side, I do want to make it easier. So I'm going to pull out a negative GCF. And that's because I know. Wait a minute. I know that with that times that, when I square this side, I'm going to be squaring that negative one, and I'm going to be squaring this in parentheses. So yeah, it'll be another step. Well, it doesn't have to be. This squared is three X minus three. So three X minus three is going to equal negative one squared times the square root of two X plus eight plus one squared. Now here's the whole reason that I did that little GCF thing. Negative one squared is positive one. So for all intents and purposes, it disappears. but not that one. Okay, so this will be one, but I'll actually write it out. Times the square root of 2x plus 8 plus 1 times the square root of 2x plus 8 plus 1. So th So 3x minus 3 equals All right, now I've got a square root times a square root, a square root times 1. 1 times the square root and 1 times 1. So the square root of 2x plus 8 times the square root of 2x plus 8 is the square root of 2x plus 8 squared. 
the square root of 2x plus 8 times plus 1 is plus the square root of 2x plus 8. And plus 1 times the square root of 2x plus 8 is plus the square root of 2x plus 8. And plus 1 times plus 1 is plus 1 squared, which is plus 1. And I could always put a squared there, it wouldn't hurt, just to keep everything clear. So 3x minus 3 equals. Now, we know that when you square radical, the radical comes off and you're left with what's underneath 2x plus 8. And then plus, I have one square root plus another square root, that's two square roots, of 2x plus 8. And then plus 1. And 8 plus 1 is 9. So 3x minus 3 equals 2x plus 9 plus 2 times the square root of 2x plus 8. All right, now I've got a radical left, still a radical equation. I have to isolate that radical, so I'll subtract 2x. And I'll subtract 9. Two x minus two x is zero, nine minus nine is zero. I'm left with two times the square root of two x plus eight. Over here, three x minus two x is one x, and negative three plus negative nine is negative or minus twelve. Okay. Now I'm going to square both sides, but notice I don't have a GCF now. Oh well. So I'm going to square the left and square the right, which over here will give me x minus 12 times x minus 12. And over here will give me 4 times 2x plus 8. I squared that, I squared that. So this will be x squared minus 12x minus 12x plus 12 squared, which is 144, equals 4 times 2x is 8x, and 4 times 8 plus 8 is plus 32. So I will have x squared minus 24x plus 144 equals 8x plus 32. And then I'll subtract 8x and subtract 8x and subtract 32 and subtract 32. 0, 0, 0. So x squared 
uh, minus 32x. All right, four minus two is two. And 14 minus three is 11. And that's a plus. So now we have to check out 112, see if it's factorable. Um, and I am going to use the calculator for that. Use our wonderful little system. Okay, I'll have 112 divided by x and then y2 is x plus 112 divided by x. And then second, well, let me take a photo of this. Now, second, I already hit second, graph. And now I want to find negative 32. I see positive 32, so that's hopeful. Negative 32, right here. Ah, oh, thank God, okay. Now what this does, let me take a photo of this also. See the negative 4 and the negative 28 and the negative 32. So x minus 4 times x minus 28 equals 0. which gives me x minus 4 equals 0, and x minus 28 equals 0. So x equals 4, and x equals 28. And I'm in a hurry, and I want to skip checking, but remember that you don't know officially that neither of these answers works. They're both extraneous. So we have to check them. We have to. So we're going to have x equals 4 and x equals 28. And we're going to have the square root of 3x minus 3 plus the square root of 2x plus 8 plus 1 equals 0. So over here, the square root of 3 times 4 minus 3 plus the square root of 2 times 4 plus 8 plus 1 
equals zero. This will be the square root of 12 minus three plus the square root of eight plus eight plus one equals zero. The square root of nine plus the square root of 16 plus one, you can already tell that's not gonna be zero. Three plus four plus one equals zero. 12 plus one, no, no, no. Three plus four is seven plus one is eight. They don't equal each other. So that would mean that X equals four is extraneous. And now we do the same thing with 28. The square root of three times 28 minus three plus the square root of two times 28 plus eight plus one. equals zero. So what is that? Three times eight is 24. Three times two is six plus two is eight. Does that look right? Minus three plus two times 28 is 56. Three times two is six, plus two is eight. Yes, bothers me. Two times 28, 56. All right, plus eight, plus one equals zero. So that's 81. Square root of 81 plus the square root of 64 plus one equals zero, that's nine, plus eight, plus one equals zero. Uh, 17 plus one is 18 equals zero, and that also is false. Is there no justice in the world? So that can happen. I just wanted to show you it can really happen.